Hello and welcome to the tutorial on find the missing number. In this tutorial we're going to do number bonds. And we're going to do number bonds to 20. Now before we have a look at our questions let's work through the number bonds. Now, do you recall the number bonds from 0 to 10? Well, we're going to write them the same way. This time around, we're going to go from 0 to 20. So let's start with 0. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And on this side, we're going to write the numbers from 20 backwards. So we've got 20. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, and 10. Let's join them with a line. Now have a look at that one. 0 and 20, well, that makes 20. 1 and 19 gives us 20. 2 and 18 gives us 20. 3 and 17 makes 20, and so on, until we get to the last one, 10 and 10 makes 20. Now on the left hand side we can actually carry on all the way down to 20 if need be, but we're just going to be going through the numbers in reverse. It is important that you can write this down from 0 to 10 on the left hand side, and on the right hand side write from 20 down to 10. Join them with a line and then you will be able to know what the number bonds are, are to 20. In time you will know this off by heart. So at the moment you just want to practice as much as you can to make sure that you fully understand this. So let's have a look at our question. Suppose we have this one here 12 plus something equals 20. 12 plus something equals 20. Now, you can use any of the methods we've used in the past. You can use the dot method to get from 12 to 20. You can use the number line or you can use the counting method. However, once you know the number bonds, you can just find this very easily. Have a look at the number line, uh, sorry, at the number bonds on the left and find number 12. There it is. What number added to 12 gives 20? Well, let's just put a circle around here. 12 and 8 makes 20. So we can just put down 8 here. So we didn't have to use the dots method, the number line, or the counting method, because once you know the number bonds, you can just simply answer the question by looking at the lines on the left. So 12 plus 8 equals 20. Let's have a look at one more example. Suppose we've got something plus 16 equals 20. So something plus 16 equals 20. Now again, you can use any of the previous methods, but let's have a look at the number grid on the left. We have to find number 16 where is 16? It's over here. What number added to 16 gives 20? It is 4. Let's write that down. 4 plus 16 equals 20. And it really is as simple as that. Learn how to write these down correctly. Once you can do that, the number bonds are very simple. In time, you will learn to memorize all of these so that you'll be able to do this even faster. So that is how we do find the missing number with number bonds to 20.